talk about what, what does it mean to have consent? How much of how much freedom did you feel like you actually had uh, to walk away if you yeah. weren't comfortable? Obviously, I had all the freedom in the world to walk away, but I'm kind of going way back, like to how he mentioned that um, the agent wasn't licensed and bonded, but. Licensed and bonded means absolutely nothing in porn because the licensed and bonded most well-known agent was the worst agent I've ever come in contact with, like the most harmful and like unprofessional agent. And just because he was licensed and bonded doesn't mean anything for how he treats a girl. Like he's the one that's putting them into escorting and he's the one that's putting them into bachelor parties where really you're just showing up and having sex with all these guys at a bachelor party. So whether they're licensed or bonded or not licensed or bonded doesn't change how they act. It almost makes them worse because they think they have more power than the girl walking in there trying to do something and she has no ill intentions but he has all of the ones all under the rug. He doesn't say it in the beginning but they trick you to just sign that paper, three years, you can work for me. It, it's not how you think it is, just because he's licensed and bonded. No. So if you felt like you wanted to get out of that contract... I, I have been trying to get out of that contract for just about a year now. And he has given me absolute hell. And all I want is my name off of his website. He has my picture posted still, and I'm not even in the porn industry. So he he to, I just want to clarify that that is not the agent in the movie. No, it's not. So what we could do now is you could name him, and everyone can email him <laughs> and start telling him to get her picture I off because she doesn't want it No, I so why don't we help you? You've got a great audience here. Everyone should start, tell, tell the name oh, if you'd like that. people to email him and get it off so we can start a boycott of him. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not fair, and he's from LA Direct. It doesn't matter who you contact in LA Direct because they were all contacting me, still asking me, like, they're trying to cover their grounds on my contract by offering me work, so that means that I'm still obligated to be in the contract. And if I want it off, then I have to pay him $3,000 to take my picture off of a website. So Nadine, you're that, a lawyer. Work for her be, pro bono, no, Nadine, and get it off. I, she doesn't I, I, want I it on the website. Really so why case. doesn't Nadine take and the case and get this off the site? I think it's a really good case. And that's I think might, typical, is this typical of the it industry? It absolutely is not. And that might be the reason that they threw this particular agent out of the licensed adult talent agency uh, uh, organization. So then how is he's he still gone. working? Huh? How is he still oh, he's working. He's working as, uh, as a freelancer. Um, oh. He was he was at one point one of the biggest agents in the business. So I'm but not under a lot contract of, anymore. So come and, on, you lawyers, let's go after yeah. him and get your picture off of, the website. And a lot of people have left his agency for the exact reasons that you have because said. Because he sucks. But but Be, he was listen. still licensed and bonded though, so he's still a bad person. And he was licensed and bonded. So what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter if my agent from Miami wasn't licensed and bonded. I mean, he treated people better than that guy did. Well. Sam